More proof about the Super Giants, ladies and gentlemen. Super Giants main sequence. This is Beano Black. Truth, data, straight out, no horse hockey. Okay? Facts that cannot be argued down by any scientist or anything. Or they ain't worth a piss. Or the tax dollars that you're paying for them. Arcturus, and I'm pretty sure it's Arcturus because you can't say it much wrong. Okay? In the Super Giants main sequence. And now we're going to take you to right here at NASA's page. And I want to get rid of that because if you pay attention, you can get it. And then basically, we'll see how good Kerasoft is at screwing with us. See if they're connected to NASA or not. Because basically, I will never disclose something that NASA's got a secret of. Okay? It's on the internet. It's ours. There's Arcturus, folks. I'm going to take you to their map. And then I'll take you to a recent updated one because this shot and also the map will show like 1700 hours or something like that okay so pretty much the only thing that can match up to that right now and it's this shot here and if you see you don't see any other ones okay now that's west okay as you read that will tell you an arrow at present points north east is counterclockwise east is over here counterclockwise okay clockwise west is over on this side okay and it'll match up to our map here that we can trust from NASA, and we love all the armed forces, and 1755, and you'll see movement here a little bit, but there's Arcturus, okay? So now it is lower and more west, okay, at 1700. And when it was taken at 13, it was higher to the right, okay? So this is the object that's probably giving us, since you can see it in the night sky, okay? It's the brightest thing there. And basically you come down here, and you're going to see, because I'm also going to prove it to you planet-wise that it wasn't there. And no, folks, it's not Vega, okay? I'll pop down to like 150%. You'll see that it's not Vega because Vega was farther left and in middle. So basically, there's nothing there. Now, I believe these are our asteroid belts, the objects that they're watching there and there because when you see, when you go to data, and let me just pick that up real fast. If I pick up a data on like Wednesday, okay, or I mean whatever day, today, now we go ahead and we'll go to the 7th, okay? If you, they will usually tell you where the color will either designate what constellation it's out of, being basically an asteroid belt, or, and as you see, this one's unnamed, so it's new, okay? So going back real fast, a couple pages, you'll see, you'd see that yellow mark. It's a new one. They don't know which one it is. Now, on these ones here, they have it color-coded, and you'll check out their stuff when you go to that site and stuff like that, you can figure out which one it is. I don't really, it really, there's so much stuff in space, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't really matter at this point. The only thing we want to know for sure is that is a supergiant, okay? And I'm going to take, you see, it says it's a supergiant, I'm positively sure, okay? The temperature that it's at, okay? And then, so it'll be a positive of causing quakes at a certain point in time today, okay? It's a little bit bigger than the sun, 1.1 mass, okay? Still hella far out, okay? Distance from Earth, 36.67 light years, okay? You compare that to uh, the sun. Let me go ahead. So how long it took that light to get here is 37 years, okay, in a vacuum in space, okay? Space is a vacuum, folks, okay? It would take 54 years in optical fiber cable, okay, what you get your phone calls on mostly if you don't have copper right now, okay? So it's that damn far out, okay? That's how damn far out that planet is in the supergiants, okay? Supergiants are massive. They're far away. Okay, but this stuff is bright and very powerful. Okay, so we go back to okay, easily visible with the naked eye. There's our properties on Arcturus. Arcturus. I don't care if I say it wrong or not. A lot of this stuff. Okay, Arcturus, 1.5 million miles. I mean, uh, mass. It's basically 1.1 mass of the sun. It's just a little bit bigger than the sun. Buddhist. Boots, 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 alpha boots, boots, it's in boots, okay, it's a bear name, and there's your stuff on that, current sun map, and this is your time and your date down here in the right hand corner, oh, because I record full screen for you, okay, south sky, there's your planets, Mercury, Venus, Saturn, there's Arcturus, and there's our Oort cloud, folks. We know that this is a dark Oort cloud that we see at Hawaii, folks. Okay? So you will end up constantly seeing this until this moves away, and I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think this is just going to keep coming close to Earth, keep coming close to Earth. 
if there's anything that has made contact with Earth in the past, the craters I've showed you on the information before, more than likely it's going to come out of this right there. Okay? Could be a hell of a long time, who knows? But as you see at that footage in Hawaii, it keeps getting closer. Okay? Now, if I am wrong on that, it's the, you got Jupiter up over there. When you watch the Hawaii footage, no matter what, more than likely that this is it. The idea that it's fact. I've showed you crater action in the past. So if you aren't a regular and you're new here to the site, try to contact somebody at Dutch Sands or something like that in their talk room in there. So I don't have time to talk to people. There is you would not the number counts on my account are all lies. They do not want you to know about astronomy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? It is the secret societies, ladies and gentlemen. They do not want you to know about outer space. Okay? They do not want you to know about constellations and so forth and so on. They do not want to know let anybody know and have a heads up on when and possible a close ballpark of a few months of when anything uh, hazardous would happen. They don't want fear, okay? And live on earthquakes and so forth and so on, more than likely, quite possibly, not the, the, not the cause of the most latest quake of that one there, but could be because it's in the west and it's going to be triangulation, okay? So you could probably go from a triangulation of this quake here that's just brand new at this time and hour right there, 2.8 in Hawaii, I mean in, up in Alaska, and then this last one, the 5.1 over here, okay, because it's way the hell out in space, and then the angles of it, and basically the fact of you seeing, and yes, there is a solar on each one of these folks, because it's always the sun that causes these quakes, okay. And i.e. you have a triangulation of the last three, I guess, right there. I didn't try to do that, but basically, boom, boom, boom. You can always count on when you see one. If we started the day with no quakes and you had one, you can just go to the next one and then triangulate to the third one. They can usually always know where the third quake's going to be at because it's triangulation, ladies and gentlemen. And I can just basically refresh by going like this and then going to live view, and there you are. You're back, right back to the freshest thing we got, okay? So there we have off Huntsville right now, and then I can go up, and in the west we'll see Arcturus, because it's the brightest goddamn thing, and then you can see that the idea that there is either a, 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 another reflection either down below to Earth, or I mean actually not, up. So you either got a moon to it there that you can end up seeing, and let me see, I'll pop that up to 400%, right? actually I can't because I can only go to 200, okay, on here. And then I can take a picture, uh, but I've already done, I've took some pictures of this, but this is going to be closer, so let me snap a shot here. Let me stop the tape. And I never crop and cut. I always show you raw data, folks. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit the zoom, and we're going to zoom in on it. Because basically I had another shot that I took even at a higher resolution, but the idea that in order to show you guys to get a good close look at Arcturus, there we go. A good thing that we have cloud cover and so forth too to be able to see it pretty good because otherwise if it was real bright with all the super giants we might not be able to make it out now that's going down in the west ladies and gentlemen okay so the sun's in the east so you can see in the opposite direction there's more glow even though there's a little bit of cloud cover there so the idea that you wouldn't be able to pick it out as much it would look like a uh what everybody's always saying is a camera flare okay well in the future we're going to basically or pretty much right about now we can even prove that unless it's just a uh, a long flare, like when you see a real long flare, or the, like the magnetism of, let me go ahead and show you an, ex an example like this. If you've ever seen a camera shot where you get that glare of the magneticism of the sun, uh, puts off those lines, okay, yeah, but there's planets hidden sometimes behind those, and when you see any kind of a color bubble, even on a picture that's been taken, who cares when? 35 millimeter film all the way back to who knows when. And that's why the idea that we always knew, at least I knew in my mind, that Ansel Adams' picture made it sure that I knew that that blackness that we saw in front of whatever supergiant. And now we have a possibility that it could be, since it's dark and black, and it's in front of the sun, and also, it, I'm not saying it's the same object, but... There is, but no matter what, we have a find here of the photos that I've ended up zooming into on, and I will even zoom in right now on this, because I just zoomed you that supergiant that I had the information for you on, and I'll go back to the information on that one when we leave, so that everybody understands the supergiants do exist, and so this is what we have, and I'm basically biting my tongue right now on some stuff that I, and folks, no, it's not a black hole, okay? 
It is absolutely not a black hole. Now, what we need to figure out is which one is it of a suit. You now, you see these planets are all out here. And we all we get taught all the time is we, got ta we get taught about Mars. We get taught about, well, there's tons of shit out there, folks, okay? So, and you can see the magnetism. Okay, because it got it, fry, it this got fried in the sun and the supergiants. Because you can see the magneticism at, on it on the bottom. As I go ahead and I go in, and I go back out. Okay, and this magnetic line that you can always see that we're basically like a hair, a strand of hair, straight, very straight strand of hair that even the sun and everything holds onto, and possibly even four because every once in a while we'll see another one. So basically, two lines of hair seem a crisscrossed hair seems what holds everything in space okay because you always see the light energy okay magneticism electrical current okay and that's the shot that I got it from okay so it's currentist that we have eight and they're holding back a little bit us on us giving us some shots okay that was a shot of the Sun you can see the date and time you can freeze all this stuff I'll go through these on these shots of where I got that at and then we got this and I can even zoom in a little bit and we'll probably lose it on the shot but there you go that's a real good up sh close shot of that dark spot. And it's not a goddamn black hole. I really think, honestly, that they're still looking for a black hole and it's all just theory. Because they constantly think that they found one and then they haven't. And this ain't no damn black hole, folks. It's just a star that got toasted, a planet. And you can see even a possible ring around it, okay, that got toasted by the supergiants and all that glare and everything like that. So I would take you back a couple pictures and everybody's been understanding the supergiants are out there. See all that damn glow? And yes, we have some wild energy that's coming off the sun because look at the dark light that's getting impregnated from the CMEs. So much solar action from all the supergiants, folks. Okay, and now I'm going to take you to a shot real fast to show you that we do know that, that it's the supergiants because you can see, I'm going to show you a tube that blocks out the sun and we'll show you all the other stuff that a shot from NASA, okay? I'll have a future uh, video on this object here. As you can see, jet engine, jet engine, okay? And basically, uh, Skunk Works got caught, must have lost altitude, or basically was landing during the daytime. Didn't think anybody would see it. Somebody caught it. Uh, and I basically have a want to explain what it is and think ICBM, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? Yep. And this is cropping and overlaying, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see that basically this takes out and basically shows the direction and uh, turn of the sun as it goes and spirals through space and also it's basically just a overlay shield as basically it's a wafer 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 on the sun as it's moving in and out okay and it's basically moving towards the supergiants okay and this filters out and you can see how large the sun is okay and the supergiants glow okay so then I take you and go ahead and show you to this and you can see that the idea that more than likely it's either like a barrel here about a barrel a barrel and that barrel doesn't block all this okay and as you see you get this okay so the super giants uh, we follow the Sun ladies and gentlemen we're in an all-time closeness to the Sun and normally we are and we are still in the winter solstice we're the farthest away from the Sun that we can be okay at, but at the same time we're an all-time human recorded kept ever without getting fried or whatever the hell through history lost stolen pillaged okay so these were the most recent eights from like and then you get Jupiter there on the backside and remember when I were looking at the shot on Jupiter here that's why the meatball sits there in those shots that I showed you in the video just before this and I have all the time to pull the showdown button on the last video let me go to that one real fast US government send me a nice polite email and then I won't talk about it otherwise I'll just talk about it okay Send me an email, nice and polite, politically correct and adult-like, okay? Always go to my website, folks, and spread the word because the idea of the counters are always going to lie. There's way more coming in than what you see, all right? And it's getting hot because even the stupid abide tickers that they fake are getting fake-baked, okay? So you go to the, this and, and hit this one here, and then the explanation, make sure you go ahead and show down and pull down the show tab on all my... Because there was basically an explanation of everything. It was Venus. Let me give you that shot of Venus. And basically the dark three pieces were the meatball and M42 and M45. Okay? Because Venus would be, uh, I mean, Venus was bright and it probably was the brightness. And that Jupiter would be bright also.
okay, but Jupiter wasn't around there. It was way up later. Okay, so always check the data there. So Venus has got volcanoes on its moon flaring. I'll let you know what the skunk works is. 